Now let's look at how to use the magic wand tool to remove a background. So the magic wand tool is here, the same place that the object selection tool was. We just need to go in and make sure it's the magic wand tool. Now this is going to work in a really similar way, but it does give you a little bit more control. So here, if I just select, I can see it's selected almost everything around me. And I can then hold down the shift key and add to this selection. So click, 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 click. And suddenly if I just press delete, I've actually done a pretty good job of removing the background. And I mean the tolerance is at 32, so that's going to be the kind of the tolerance of pixels Photoshop's looking for in terms of removing them. But really, this has actually done a pretty good job. And if I zoom in, I can then actually, you know, select a few more of these and make it as kind of clear as possible what's object and what was background. And for this image, because there was such a good contrast and because I've g been given a little bit more control with the magic wand, it's actually really suitable and really easy to remove the background. Now, for this image, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Again, there's a lot going on in the background here, so if I do the magic wand, it's just not really selecting what I need it to. So, I mean, frankly, I don't think this is going to be a technique that can be used almost at all on this particular uh, image. I mean, it's just going to take way too much work to remove the background. I mean, we have some removal, but it's actually removed a little bit too much over here. We could go with the eraser tool and with a really big brush start erasing things. But again, I'm just not convinced this is going to be the most efficient use of our time to remove the background of this particular object because it's just not doing a very good job. Now let's go back to this chair and we can actually start to see how the magic wand was going to work here. So if I go to the magic wand tool and I click here, we can see that it's actually recognized that this background has a bit of a gradient. So it's not a flat background, it's actually something that has shadows. And so if I press the shift key and I'm actually adding to this selection, we can see it's still recognizing these shadows, but it's doing an okay job of figuring out where we want to, to select. And we're just adding to that selection just a little bit more. And at that point, if I just press delete, we were able to, I think, delete most everything that's ne necessary. So on this image, Ironically, the object selection tool actually worked a little bit better than the magic wand tool compared to the first image where the magic wand tool worked so much better than the object selection tool. So again, it's always going to depend on what the background is in order to know which tool to use.